an Egyptian protester went after CNN's Clarissa Ward over Western media's coverage of the Israel-Palestine conflict. Where are your condemnation? Where are your channel coverage? Cover this! Say the truth, we understand you're an employee. You're just a puppet. You're just a mouthpiece. Come talk to me like a human being. Come talk to me like a human being. Thank you. I understand you have your foreign policy. No, I've heard you. I've heard you. You hear me. I understand you have your foreign policy. I understand you speak for your government. I understand you represent your government. But that being said, you're a country that's plain free speech. Your customized democracy is actually what led to Hamas. And now we are watching an occupation and we are watching the result of your silence, of your misrepresentation. Now, in fairness to Clarissa Ward in particular, I haven't seen her coverage on Israel-Palestine other than her saying, Israel's claim that Palestine bombed their own hospital seemed dubious to her, since Palestinians don't have any weapons powerful enough to do the damage that was inflicted on the hospital. So I can't speak to Clarissa's coverage aside from that. The protester may be right about Clarissa's coverage, but again, I just haven't seen her coverage, so I can't speak to it. But from an overall perspective, this protester is right. U.S. mainstream media's coverage of this Israel-Palestine conflict has been frankly terrible from the clips I've seen. They are so biased towards Israel, and they don't give proper context. They act as if this conflict started a couple of weeks ago when Hamas attacked. They don't talk about the occupation. They don't talk about how human rights organizations have stated that Israel is committing apartheid against Palestinians. They don't talk about the Nakba. They don't talk about all of the Palestinians Israel has killed over the years. So without giving proper context, U.S. mainstream media is really depicting a misrepresentation of the entire conflict. So in that sense, this protester has every right to be upset at how Western media has been covering this conflict.